Hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new series, actually. This is going to be the free game of the month. Title, kind of pending. If you have better ideas, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. But anyways, the purpose of this series is to showcase one free game per month. Doesn't have to have come out in that month, just any free game. It's pretty free reign and open in that sense. Because I'll get into a bit of a reason why I want to make this series, you know, later in this video. But uh, let me introduce the first game here that we'll be taking a look at, and that is a little game called Picross Touch. Now, Picross Touch is a Picross game. It's a free Picross game. Even better, no microtransactions. I think there's one thing of like if you want to support, like donate to the devs or something. I don't remember. But all of the levels. So, if you have, I'll get into a bit more specifics about the game later, but let's get into a bit of how, how you actually play Picross. If you've never seen a Picross, you don't know what the heck a Picross is. What the heck is a Picross? So there are these little board puzzles here. Some people compare it to Minesweeper, and that's kind of a valid comparison in some ways, but really not in others. So you'll notice you have these grid here, and you can fill out little squares, and you can also mark them off. Let me just undo all that. So, what do these numbers mean, then? Well, these numbers indicate how many of these squares are adjacent to each other. So since there's five, that means in this row here, this five here, means in this row over here that there are five squares are adjacent to each other. So one, two, three, four, and five. You can also see a little picture being made up here. Most of these, and like most Picross games, they make a little fun pictures, but they don't have to. So we can also see there are fives here. So in this column, there'll be five in a row, and another five in a row. And so now we get into these the why there are multiple numbers. So if there are multiple numbers, that means you have uh, a group together, so like a group of two, and then another group of two with at least one square in between them. So I have a group of two here, because I can't put one to the left, there has to be, there are only groups of two in this row, so that means the other, the second one has to be right here, so you have one, two, they're next to each other. But since we have two groups of two, and there's one over here, we, so there's already two here, so that means one cannot be right there, and you can see it gets, you know, faded out. Some games do that, some don't. Because we cannot have... If 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 one were to be here, that'd be three. You, you can't have three in a row with two and two. Which means that, that that one can't be one. So, of course, the only other spot that can go is right there. So we have a group of two, space, and a group of two. Same thing up here. We have a one, has to be a space. And looking... Uh, this is left to right, so left to right. So looking at the far one over here, because we can't go any further to the right, this has to be a uh, blocked off square. Because this would make two, a two adjacent. We don't have a two listed here. So that means the third one has to be right there. You can also see that these have been grayed out, which means that there aren't... These rows have already been satisfied, of one, one, and one, one. So we can just go ahead and block off the remainder there, and block off the remainder there, which leaves one spot, which is right there. That's kind of the, the, just the real basics of Picross. They get a bit more complicated, but that was just a 5x5, five five, so let us complete another 5x5 five five just a little faster. Okay, here's another 5x5. Five five. So we have these same, we can immediately see that we have these same patterns of 2 and 2 which are the only ways that they can fit in. So two, two, and two, two, with that. This is the only way that two and two can fit into a five by five, because if we do, say, a, a block here, we can have two like that. But then how is the other two going to fit in here? That makes four. One thing of four, not two of two. And that makes three, that's a 1 and a 3, so we can't do that. It has to be 2 and a 2. So then from here, we can see this is the 3. 
block off one. And same thing over here, three, block off one. Already have a two complete over here and over here. So that means this three has to connect up like this. The only space that this three has to expand out is down. Last two ones, and that's the puzzle. Let's uh, crank up the difficulty a little bit. Okay, so here's a 10 by 10. <laughs> Cranking up the difficulty in Pcross usually means expanding the board. The 10 by 10, so we can see there are 10 in each row, which means that they fit perfectly with these 10s. This is the only way that they can go in because it takes up the whole column, rather. So, same thing with the rows. We can fill those out pretty easily. This row is then completed, so we can mark it off. We can see uh, this one's also marked off completely. We can then see how we have twos up here. We already have groups of two, so they can be marked off. Uh, we have the ones completed down here, but we're not sure yet. It hasn't marked off. You'll notice it hasn't marked off these twos yet, because we don't know if they're the bottom twos or the top twos. Because we can either have two like that, or two like that. So, continuing on, we can mark these ones off. We can also see that there was one seven, so there have to be seven in a row uh, in this vertical column over here. So we have one down here and two over here, which means that it must connect like that. Because otherwise, if we put stuff up here, it would be... We, we, we can't connect that, and that's ten. Or even like that, that's eight. So we have to connect them. And then block off the rest of the row. Same thing with this eight over here. Except now we need a one up here to finish that. Complete the three. Block off the remainder of those because they're already completed over here. Which then shows that since this is blocked off, the twos can come up here. We have a two here. And then finish the line off there. And we get a nice floppy disk. Probably won't commentate uh, like step by step that in depth for really most of these from now on, but uh, it's really challenged me to try to do this and commentate at the same time. <laughs> That's always fun. But, oops, I made way too many things there. <laughs> Picross is, uh, it's a bit of an addiction. <laughs> I, I've played, in, in my time, I have played quite a lot of Picross. Uh, like, an, an obsessive amount. So, I can usually uh, cook through them pretty fast, and I'm even trying to kind of intentionally be a bit slow here, so that you, you can see what is going on, especially people who haven't seen, you know, Picross before. But, yeah, the people who, who know what Picross is and have played it a lot, like, this is... I will say, that is one of my things with uh, the game, is that... Uh, so they give you some handmade levels, levels that come with the game, some 5x5s, 10x10s, and 15x15. They're kind of easy. They're, they're, they're a little easy. But the positive is... Let's see, it's a game console one. The positive is that this is a great, absolutely great Picross game for beginners. Great Picross game for beginners. So if you're looking to get into uh, Picross, they're sometimes called uh, nonograms. I'm not entirely sure where the name comes from, but I've heard it said both ways. Uh, but, like, if you're looking to get into the games, this is great because it's free, and you get a ton of levels, and the levels are pretty, like, the handmade levels are pretty easy. I have been saying handmade levels because uh, this is the PC version, which is available through Steam, and because of that, uh, there is Steam Workshop support. So, there is a level editor thing built right in. You can just make your own levels, draw them out, and it'll generate the numbers 
like the number puzzle thing for you, and then you're good to go. So there are some, I believe the, I kind of stalled out here, sorry, I was talking. <laughs> These should be tens. Uh, but the, uh, what am I trying to say? Okay, the level editor can make, I believe can make levels up to 35 by 35. So if you're looking, f it's great, like the, the, the packaged in per se, Levels are great for beginners, and then if you're an expert or wanting, or you know, a beginner looking to try some more challenging puzzles, then the community-made levels are there for you. Pretty, uh, pretty great system, honestly. Is that done? Well, let's move up to. I'm already doing 15 by 15. Whoops. <laughs> I was gonna say let's move up to the 15 by 15. We're already doing that. Uh, they get harder as this kind of goes on, so let's try... It's a little mushroom. Yeah. Oh, I believe the game is also... So it's, you know, as per the series, it's completely free. Or at least, you know, uh, it, it, for the series, I probably will do some later games that uh, are like uh, I'll probably do some games that are just you know free to start or whatever. But th this one is completely free. It's not like a level packs or anything. It's just you download it and you play the stuff. Which is a great deal, you know? Big Picross game, just free. <laughs> just free. <laughs> and with that, I believe... I was checking out it before starting recording this. Of So, as I said, I'm playing the Steam version. The PC version. But... I believe the game is also available on mobile devices, both iOS and Android. I think you can play in browser. I think you can play it in your browser. Which, uh, kind of like Mechorama that I was uh, showcased earlier in, earlier on the channel. Kind of cool when just the game is, hey, you can play it in your browser. As I'm trying, <laughs> it's, it's real. I'm not used to this. I'm trying to commentate and I see I messed up there. I'm trying to commentate and do the puzzle at the same time. It's really, really kind of challenging. It's, it's slowing me down. <laughs> That's five. Go down like that. Here's a three, like so. Yeah, it's just, it's just a relaxing game, and the Picross games are just relaxing. Or, you know, it's supposed to be. Sometimes they aren't. Especially when you get one that's just like, oh, where did I mess up? Because this game doesn't, there are some versions of Picross that tell you, like, when you mess up, of like, if you place a thing there, will go, oh, hey, whoop, you placed the wrong one, you know, assuming that that was actually wrong. Uh, but this one does not. Which is slightly less... User friendly, or not user friendly, uh, beginner friendly, but I feel that the the easier levels make up for it. Continuing on here. Hey, uh, a little bit about, I should probably explain a bit about the series itself of the free game of the month. So, as the title suggests, I will be showcasing one free game every month. Or, you know, at least, you know, free to start. Uh, because I'm not sure entirely what I will be showcasing yet. You know, it's, if I remember correctly, this level is kind of a mess. But uh, also, if you're seeing, uh, I should probably explain the strat. This is kind of a, for larger puzzles like this, we don't have ones they can completely fill in. Uh, this is the strat of getting started. Of CC, you have like a 13 here. 
So if you start from one end and start counting 13, you'll get, oopsies, not that, you'll get that. You can see it's out, it'll be those two blocked off. So that's one way of making 13. And then the way on the complete opposite end is like that. And when you kind of overlay those in your mind of the left one and the right one, you'll end up with that being the common blocks. But basically that means every possible way of constructing 13 in this row will use these blocks. So for large numbers, 11, it'll be the same thing of like, this is 11 from all the way to the left, and if you try moving it all the way to the right, you'll have that, which means the common blocks are those. Every single permutation of 11 will use those blocks. Same with the 9 there with those 3, because you have 9 there and 9 there. Can't do it with 5, because you'll get 5 there and 5 there. There's no overlapping blocks, so you can't uh, determine. Also, the other strat that I was using here. <laughs> this is a great, a great one for showing some of the more... The strats that you need for like 10 by 10s and 15 by 15s and up. So I know that there's blocks here from this 9, the overlap in the 9. I could get more blocks from looking at the 13, 11, but say let's, let's look at the left here. You can see it ends with a 4, but we have a block right here. If we tried constructing 4 to the right, oh, we're going to hit the wall. We can't go past the wall. So we'd get 2, and it has to be 3 and 4. But we don't know that that's there. So we're just left with the 2 and 3. So this 4 has to use these 2 and 3 because we know the block is there. Makes sense? <laughs> it, P, P cross can make a... P, 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 P cross can be a bit challenging at first. But once you kind of wrap your head around it, it starts making a bit more sense. You pra practice and wrapping your head around it. It's just getting the flow of things. Anyways, about the series, as I was just showcasing one free game per month, as I kind of mentioned in the beginning, if you have uh, better ideas for what the series should be called, feel free to put them down in the comments. <laughs> I'm not great at coming up with names sometimes. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. Cool. Uh, also, if you have suggestions for free games or whatever they want me to showcase, then put it down in the comments as well. I might take a look at it. Depends on the game, of course. Some that, I, some that I'll showcase, some that I won't showcase. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But I wanted to make this series for a little while, especially with the, you can see around the world, video game prices are rising uh, quite alarmingly in some cases, uh, whether companies raising, just artificially raising the like regional prices of games or the higher MSRP being starting to kind of be the new norm is just companies are starting to raise prices all across the world. <laughs> it's, it's just a fact. Whether it's justified or not, I'm not here to say to talk about that. That's not the point here. The point is that the the video game price is rising, uh, and so some people just you know everyone has different financial situations, and I thought it'd be. Cool to showcase some some cool free games that are out there. Because there are a lot of cool free games out there. Is there's so much fun that can be had for the price of free. And as I was saying, with global situations and rising costs. Why not showcase some free games? Anyways, this puzzle is taking a little bit. Getting there, but... It's 
kind of slow going. One, two, three. So this has to be a two. The three goes down there. This has to go there. Um, four has to go there, which means that that gets blocked off. Five? That's a five. <laughs> So that means that's a one, this is a three, this is another one. That has to go there. This is a three, so that can't go there. We could have already known that from the four, but oh well. Uh, that gets blocked off like that, which means we can finish off these over here. Five. That means that goes there. Five that gets blocked off. Four that gets blocked off. There's a lot of like, especially in, like a puzzle like this. There's a lot of kind of going back and forth and making little advancements all over the place. That's three. Or two, so that means this has to be the one over here, which means that's four, like that. You're good, you're good. You go like that. You cannot go there or there. You go there, there, there. <laughs> Like, what, what am I supposed to do? What, what, what am I supposed to say here? It's I've always liked puzzle games like this. I've been addict of uh, <laughs> self-proclaimed addict of uh, Picross and Minesweeper for years now. Um, what's this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. That means that you can go. Uh, you have four plus two is six, seven. That has to go there. Means you go there and there and there. I think you have to go there. That and that. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Uh. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see here. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, and you're good. There we go, we have a magic eight ball. All right. <laughs> So, as I, as I was talking about earlier, there's an editor, which you can go and draw stuff in, and then you can also change the grid size. 30 by 30, that's what's not 35. Uh, yeah, so you can make some pretty, pretty crazy stuff. You also have the workshop. You see a bunch of different user-made levels. That is Picross Touch, and that is the first free game of the month for, what is this, October 2023? <laughs> I know what month it is. Uh, I can keep track of time. Anyways, that's Picross Touch. Free Picross game. I'd say it's pretty good for beginners and also decently good for more experienced players if you look to the workshop content. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for the watching. Once again, if you have suggestions for free games or a uh, series title, uh, feel free to, or just other thoughts, you know, I, I want to hear your thoughts always. Just feel free to put it in the comments. Feedback's good feedback. What is that even supposed to mean? What? <laughs> sometimes my brain says weird things. And I can sometimes stop it. Thank you very much for watching. And...
well, for this series, I'll see you next month, but hope to see you in a different video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, one, one more thing, one more thing. One more thing. Almost forgot. Uh, I'll just leave you with a, a time lapse of a workshop 30 by 30. So, this is by from me, but you'll, you'll there'll be a little bit more video. So, bye bye.